Hey everybody, it's just me LTM, finally getting back to doing some filming. Life has been a bit hectic and chaotic for me lately, so I haven't been able to do very much on my channel. And I'm really pleased to be back with you. Today I have one of my favourite things, which is an unboxing or unbagging. I made a purchase from Nip Pearl Sew, so, which is a local yarn shop, and I have it sitting in a bag over there, which I'm going to open with you. I'm really keen to do this. I've I made these purchases about a week ago, a week and a half ago, and I'm getting to the point in a project where I'm going to need something that's in that bag. So I really need to do this unbagging. So come along with me and let's see what I bought. So here is my bag from Knit Pell Sew. I must say I do appreciate that they um, provide paper bags when you purchase goods there. They don't give you plastic bags, so that's fantastic. And let's have a look what's inside. Okay, so the first thing out is this Sheep G's Whirlette in a beautiful purple colour and I bought this primarily to go with a whirl that my daughter bought me so the whirlets are matched to the inside and outside colours of whirls also done by this same company I'll just show you a whirl because I have one of those in the bag as well so one whirl whirlette beg your pardon and this is this is a Sheep G's Whirl. Now the composition of these is 60% cotton and 40% acrylic. Uh, this one is called Lavender Licious and it's a really, really deep burgundy kind of, yeah, colour in the middle out to a nice pale grey that's got tinges of light lavender in it. So this whirlet that I bought is to go with one of these, which has this purple colour on the outside. So one whirlet and one whirl. To go with that whirl, I purchased the matching whirlet that's looking just rather dark on the on the camera. Uh, but this is this really deep, deep kind of purpley, I don't know, burgundy, I don't know what colour to call that, in the middle. So those two are to go together. Then next in the bag, that's all the yarn that I have. The thing that I actually need for the project that I'm working on at the moment is blocking pins. I have never owned a set of blocking pins and I've only ever tried to block one thing and it was a really great big bulky thing I had a lot of difficulty trying to block it so this is a set of 12 blocking pins they're the ones with the uh, big plastic heads and they have either four pins sticking down under the head or they have eight pins sticking down under the head these come in, um, I think this is the rainbow set. Rainbow set, let me just check the back. No, this is the monochrome set. So this is just uh, white plastic heads on the pins. Nip Pro also provide these in a rainbow set where the pin heads of the pins are different colours, which is really pretty, but for $10 more, it certainly doesn't add any additional functionality to the item so I just went for the plain white ones. I'm a pretty simple gal at heart really so I'll just open these up so that you can see what they look like. Comes in this um, in this this container is plastic so they can always live in here which is great they won't get lost so this is what the pins look like in the box and down this end we have the ones that have just four pins underneath and then obviously these longer ones are the ones with 
with eight pins. So you can see how they will anchor your item really well when you are blocking it. And I'm working on a project at the moment. It's a shawl for my mum. And I will definitely need to block it because there are some lace sections and also to make it hold its shape properly. Now, of course, the trick is getting these back in. Oh, okay, there's a piece of foam. You may not be able to see it. There's a piece of foam in the bottom of this tray and the pins go into that. So you do actually have to kind of push them down into it. Otherwise, they're not going to fit. The lid won't fit back on. So that's the blocking pins. And Nip also is, um, is the local yarn shop that I purchased these from. And I really quite like it because they do have an online store. So you can jump online first and see if they have what you want before you pop down to the shop. And you can even order online and ask them to package it up for you and you go and pick it up. So you, you have the comfort and the ease, convenience of purchasing online, you know, taking your time, looking through all the bits and pieces, putting them all in your shopping cart and not having to pay a delivery fee, which is fantastic. So yarn and blocking pins. I also bought additional blocking pins and I don't know where's the front. These are also by uh, the brand is Knit Pro, but these are called lace blocking pins. Uh, they're much smaller than the ones that I've just shown you. And sorry, I'll just wait till I've rattled all the plastic. And a friend of mine said that she knows these as T-pins, which indeed is what it does say on the front of the container. So these are just little pins like this. Uh, that, that was really quite cheap. That is a pack of 50 pins, and I think it was $4.95. So that was a really good price. So I bought two packets of those. So... I really shouldn't run out of blocking pins now when I block projects. One last item left in the bag. <clears throat> and it is yarn needles. But you will notice they're the ones with the little bend in the in the end of them. I don't know the better way to get them. So you can see they're not quite straight. The the end of the pit of the needle is just bent a little bit and I received a plastic one of these with my Addy knitting machine and I found that it was really good it works really well that little crook in the end of the needle just makes it so much easier to get it in and out of stitches when you're trying to you know um, finish off a garment and weave in your ends it just seemed to work so much better than a straight yarn needle so a friend um, who is my my accomplice often when I go to knit pearl so shop gave me one she had a bunch of these and she gave me a metal one and it's just fabulous I really love it so when I noticed that Knit Pearl so had these in stock I thought yes I'm going to get myself some of these as well so that's everything that was that was in the bag so we have one whirl with a matching whirlette I have a specific project for this I might um, see if I can put photos of the projects I'm going to make with this up in the video one whirlet to go with the whirl that I already have and again I have chosen a pattern to use this in so again I'll see if I can put up a picture of that for you many 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 blocking pins I'm I'm really really happy to have those I have got the already the mats that I will lay my item on when I'm blocking it into which the pins will go 
Uh, so I'm really happy about that and I'm really happy about having some of these because we all know that you lose your yarn needles they just seem to disappear really easily so I'm really happy to have some of these as well so that is my haul from Knit Pearl Sew which is a local yarn shop to me here in Perth Western Australia I hope you enjoyed seeing what I have purchased if you had these yarns, what would you make with these yarns? So there you go, that's what was in the bag. All the unbagging done, everything's out of the bag. I promise you there's nothing else left in there. I don't need to hide my yarn purchases from you guys. <laughs> as I said, I'm going to be using the blocking pins really soon as I'm getting close to finishing the project, the shawl that I'm making for my mum. And I don't have a lot of experience with blocking and particularly because it's acrylic yarn. So if you have any advice for me about blocking specifically synthetic yarn uh, projects, I'd be really interested to hear your thoughts. Anything uh, that you can tell me that will help me when I get to blocking this project, I would really appreciate. I'm sure all of you have done blocking before. I know there are some very experienced people watching my videos, so I would really love it if you could share your wisdom with me. That's it from me for today. I'm so pleased that I got back into doing some filming again. It's been a few weeks. As I said, I needed to support my mum. She came and lived with me for a few weeks while I was supporting her, so I didn't really have the time or the space or the mental capacity really at the time to do this. And I've been really desperate to open up this bag and get those items out of there. So thank you for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day. I'm going to go and drink my coffee and drool over this yarn. Bye.